Hello YouTube, what's up? Chicken Fried Rice here, and we just joined in the middle of a Battlefield Bad Company 2 game. Uh, this is a, a live commentary as usual, and uh, this time we're going to be playing on Attack My Desert, which kind of sounds like Attack. Now, um, uh, this game I'm going to be playing as an engineer. Yay. Thick stuff and blow up stuff. That sounds perfect like my job description. Okay. That would be an awesome job though. Anyways, um yeah we're gonna be playing on snap I'm gonna be playing as an engineer, my usual engineer setup with the empty cow and the tracer marker. Damn it, helicopter bitch. Anyways, um now this uh, video is going to be a response video to a response video for a video. Now that might have sound confusing so um, you guys might want to Listen, I'm gonna repeat it. It is a response video to a response video for a video. There you go. Now you understand. Probably don't. So I'm just gonna charge right ahead here and get shot up and back up. Anyways, um, oh crap. Got this. I'm bailing out. Oh yeah, just in time. Anyways, um, the original video that this uh, response is made to was a really, uh, video on about how is, uh, what is a good gamer like the guy's definition on what's a good gamer so he put his opinion out there and i didn't exactly disagree uh, agree with it so i put my own opinion how uh, what a good gamer is so uh, good gamer well also then the response video was even more different yeah just sniped there with my rocket launcher that was sick anyways so what happened is um this guy, the response video, in his response video, what he said is that a good gamer requires at least a, a KD of 1.8. Now, obviously, he was talking about Call of Duty games, I believe, because he was doing this to a Call of Duty gameplay. But, just in case he was, I disagree with that completely. I'm just telling you right now. Being a good gamer has nothing to do with uh, KD. Because you can be a good gamer by being a crazy ass guitar hero player, or you can be a good gamer by uh, being a really good at Call of Duty or a really good Battlefield player. But to be really good at a game is each game has a different definition. Like Call of Duty, to be good at Call of Duty, obviously everyone's uh, definition of a good gamer for Call of Duty is KD, and everyone who plays Call of Duty thinks a good gamer has to have a good KD. I disagree with that, but, you know, that's how it is. Call of Duty has this game where your team can completely suck, but you can have this one player on your team that is absolutely amazing and destroys the whole entire enemy team. And it happens actually quite often. You'd be surprised how often it happens. It happens all the time on PC. Just gonna, oh, bitch, I missed him. Come on, die. No? Still not there. Alright, anyways. And that philosophy is completely different from PC to, um, well, not PC, from uh, Battlefield to Call of Duty. Why? Because. Ooh, missed him. Because Battlefield is a more team focused game. And the thing is that in Battlefield, to be a good player, you don't have to be able to get like 10,000 kills and like zero deaths. And Battlefield, just to be a good gamer, you just have to be able to uh, take one for the team. Unlike me, in my videos, I never get the highest KD at the game. I never get, like, I'm never one of these guys who gets, like, 20 kills and then, like, 2, 3 deaths. And, like, just, like, murdered the whole team. No, I'm that guy who runs to the objective when it's armed and hopes that I don't dry, die trying to um, disarm it. And that's a good Battlefield player in my book. Because in Call of Duty, they're not as much focused on a uh, team play, I find. They're more like, oh, I'm just going to run around and get killed, which is how the game is designed to be. So, you can't really blame them for that. But, you know, that's why uh, I find this different definition for all kinds of games. Like, for example, Battlefield. Hmm. I'm a good, I find myself to be a good gamer in Battlefield. Why? Because I focus on objectives, you know, because I get a crazy-ass KD. Call of Duty, I find myself to be a good gamer there too. Not because I have a crazy ass KD, but I'm still an objective player in Call of Duty, even though it's not a heavily objective game sometimes. Oh, let's take out this man. He has no idea what's coming for him. 
Oh, miss. Oh, crap. Alright, so. Anyways, I'm absolutely failing here because I don't have a machine gunner, which sucks my ass. So let's try and take out the sniper. And, uh, say hi to him. No, he didn't die. Okay, I can just take my time to kill him. Yay! And they all bail out. Anyways, as I was saying, Battlefield Call of Duty gamers completely different. But that's not the only thing. You can have Guitar Hero gamers too. A good gamer doesn't have to play Call of Duty or Battlefield or the game you think is the most amazing in the world. A good gamer could be someone that loves to play um, Guitar Hero or even can be someone that just plays arcades game and like completely dominates. Someone that plays Tetris is a gamer. You'd be surprised. But um, uh, in this documentary I watched, which was a really odd documentary, I learned that there are actually more female gamers out there than a male. And you guys are like, what? That's not true. And I'm like, all girl someone that plays on their cell phone is considered a gamer. So yes, there are more girl gamers than guys. And you guys are like, what? No, that doesn't count. Cell phones don't count. But yes, they do count. Cell phone games are considered games, and if you play cell phone games, you're considered a gamer, which makes everyone look gamers, but apparently the most, uh, the biggest gaming audience is girls on their cell phones, so that one shocked me a bit, I was like, what? That's a joke, right? And no, it was actually proven, so that's actually a big shocker, but yeah, you can be good at any sort of game and be considered a gamer. No. Uh, let's take a really, really random game that no one knows about. Uh, Alien Swarm. How about that? I played with this guy once, and there's a video about this. This guy just, like, fucking dominated the, uh, Alien Swarm. Just, like, literally made us beat it on impossibly hard difficulty. And he is just a really good gamer in that game. Or you could be a general good gamer who's just good at everything. That's my opinion about how gamers are. And that's pretty much it. You don't need to talk about the gameplay. Yeah, I'm just cutting you guys off there and say like, yeah, you know what? Fuck this subject. I'm done with it. Let's talk about the gameplay. So, so far in the game, I am not doing horrible. Five kills and two deaths. Speaking of gamers, for me, this is a pretty good game at Battlefield. I'm being very offensive on the objective, especially since this is more of a kill to get the objectives games, not just show your life away trying to get them. So, I'm going to oh, Damn it, why does it never work? I always try and flip a tank on the hill. I've only succeeded once doing it. I don't know why I want to do that. It's just very fun to flip a tank. You guys are like, why would you want to flip a tank? I'm going to say this. In your mind, just imagine what a A1, A1, A1 tank looks upside down. You know, wouldn't that look crazy? Yeah, that's exactly what I mean by that. And I'm getting shot by the helicopter. And there's a guy up there, so I'm gonna blow the snigglings out of this guy. Yep. And here comes the motors. Coming in. Oh, yeah. Nope, didn't kill anyone. Ah, oh, fuck, I can't get that engineer. Holy crap. This guy is pissing me off, and I'm getting shot at from everywhere. Oh, okay, kill that guy. No. You see what I mean? I'm not a vehicle player in this game. I'm a good vehicle killer, though. I may not be the best with vehicles, though. When it comes time to blowing up vehicles, though, then you can call me in, and I'll take care of that without a problem. But, yeah. Really, like, when I play Halo, for some reason, like, it's really different for me. Halo, I, I'm very good with the vehicles in that game, I find, but I'm not just, like, good with the vehicles, like, I'm good with the, um, at driving the vehicles in the game, that's what I find. This is a, I, like, give me a Scorpion in Halo, we'll talk about Halo now, and I'm okay in it, I can get a decent amount of kills, but everyone can be a, everyone knows how to use a Scorpion in Halo, everyone can get lots of kills uh, with a Scorpion in Halo, that's how the vehicle is. But, give me a warthog and give me someone that knows how to shoot the gun and I will get like 10 splatters in life and that guy will get like 50 kills on the machine gun. I find myself to be a very good uh, driver for um, 
the uh, warthog in Halo. I I I don't like being the gunner. I really hate being the gunner actually. So let's uh, do some gunship gameplay. Oh boy, I think this is the first video you guys have ever seen me in a gunship. See, I don't disappoint you guys in that. Uh, this tank. Oh, I missed it a bit. That's okay. We can uh, pull a hard port turn and uh, be on our way away from this uh, target because I'm getting shot by AA guns. Oh crap. Uh, that's that's my technique pretty much with uh, choppers. You um have your chopper and then you just fire random rockets wherever uh, you think the enemies are. That's pretty much the best technique I've got. Or whenever someone spots an enemy. All right, so I'm gonna get the gunner here, and uh, he's just gonna jump in. Hopefully, yeah, he's gonna repair me because he's an awesome teammate, and then he's gonna jump in as my gunner. And then we're gonna get shot by a tank. Whoop the fucking do. Sorry about the language, but that is pretty pissy. I was in a gunship. I love the gunship. Oh my god, it's so much fun being in. And then you get shot by a tank. How does that guy even pull off that shot? He like shot halfway across the map. It was insane. Probably had optic zoom, but even then, I cannot do those kinds of shots with tanks. Like, those are crazy. You just like fucking shoot a guy across the map. Oh, enemy helicopter on top of that. And there we go, that tank's shooting at me again. So let's go in his direction. Let's see if I can destroy him. This is, oh wait, no, infantry, I saw an infantry. Yeah! Oh yeah, I got a kill assist, that's right. Give me the kill assist. Oh, dodge that tank round, you saw that? It was coming straight for me. It's very easy to dodge tanks rounds when you're in a helicopter. Yeah, we're just trying to push him back right now. Hopefully not get killed. Oh, got a couple shots on him, but I am in the worst position right now. I'm in the middle of enemy territory, so I'm going to fail out of here and then start doing some uh, fire missions, as I like to call them. Enemy tank right there, but I'm not in a good position to shoot on him, so let's go here where my team's struggling. Uh, I see a guy right here. Oh, fuck. Fail out. Oh, crap. What the? Holy shit. <laughs> The helicopter, probably when it was tail spinning, hit me, and I just went like flying at like 70 kilometers an hour across the map and into a fucking ground. Well, that went well. See, what I like about this map is in Battlefield you can choose your servers, and this one has instant re respawn on vehicles, so you always have a vehicle waiting for you. So, pretty much, this is all vehicle gameplay for this game. It's kind of fun for me. I don't know about you guys, but I love flying choppers in this game. It's, well, not gonna do great though. Oh crap. Yeah, eat rockets. Oh my god, this is so pointless. We're never gonna kill each other. Oh crap, he almost got me there. Oh crap, no. And guys, when you're in a rocket fight with an enemy helicopter, use your sideways movements as a way to throw his aim off. So like that you can uh, distract them. So right here I'm going to move sideways while moving forward to try and get a closer shot on him. And now he's running away because he knows I'm going to kill his ass. But I didn't. He's very disappointing. I thought I was going to kick his ass. Alright, let's see. What damage can be done here? We've got control of Alpha. Oh, enemy tank. Let's get this guy. Oh, yes. Oh, look, hopefully that did some damage. And uh, let's pull away and get it back in the uh, range for another fight. Or I could just die again. That works too. Dying in this game is a very often option that I decide to choose. You know, just like fly around is like, hmm, you know what? How about I die? That'll work. Yeah, let's all die together. Jump in a hole. Yay. It's like, uh, everyone just jumped together into uh, that pile of C4. Good idea. Let's open that. Hey, look at that. Enemy helicopter right there. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I got some solid hits. You know, he's gonna aim at me. I'm gonna... Ch oh, yeah. I just dodged him. Let's... Uh, oh, yeah. He, he ain't got shit on me. He ain't got... Oh, look at that. I'm top of that. Too bad you can't lock on missiles until you... Unless you have the secondary uh, missile lock button, but... Reason why I don't use that is I always have the, uh, as you guys know, I always use the um, 
whatchamacallit, I always use the um, uh, counter measure option for my vehicles just because I can disable missile locks on choppers, so I love that option. Yeah. Oh crap. I just got shot out of the air by the tank. I did not know he could aim that high. That's okay. I can just respawn and jump in another helicopter and everything will be alright. Everything will be alright. Yeah. Alright. Since there's lots and lots of time left in the game, I'll probably cut you guys off before the end of it. But, before that even happens, there's something I need to talk to you guys about. Now this is regarding, uh, regarding Battlefield Back Company 2, and this is something I often see. If you notice this game, I've always spawned back at the uh, base because there are vehicles there. And this is game, vehicles are a key to your victory. And here's the only thing I've got to say to you guys. Use your vehicles, because your vehicles are literally like your chopper guns in the line call of duty, except they're free. And, like, half the time I play, you just spawn, and you look at... I come in the game, I look at the spawn, and I see, like, we have only alpha, and I see, like, at our base, there's, like, two tanks sitting there just waiting to be used, and, like, a freaking gunship. And I'm like, uh, we could have Alpha and Bravo, and then go all the way for uh, Charlie, if we would know what the hell we're doing. But, obviously, no one seems interested in tanks these days. I just love the chopper. There's so much shot to fly. And, some of you guys ask, is like, how do I become a good helicopter pilot? There are two ways to do that. First of all, either you join a game with no one in it and you just practice flying around. And second of all, you just always jump in a helicopter no matter what. So now I'm just getting a bit tired of getting shot out of the air by a stricken tank. So I'm going to go either grab a tank at the base, which there is. And uh, I'm going to go and uh, kick that guy's ass. Get some payback. The guy keeps fucking shooting me out of the air. How do you think I feel about that? Exactly. <laughs> I haven't gone a kit single kill since I started playing the helicopter. Obviously, I'm not a gunship pilot. I prefer the... Uh... But why am I not moving forward? I prefer um, being in the transport helicopters. I find it's easier for me to stay stable. Yeah, they just bailed out into our base. They're going to take our helicopter away. And then they're going to die in it, most likely. So I'm not worried. Oh, no, we got someone took their health up there, our health up there. We'll figure it out eventually. Oh, can we take Boom. Nope. Got nothing. Another shot. Oh, oh, no hit marker. Hit marker is your best friend in this game, because they give you kill assists and stuff. So, you know what? I'm gonna shoot this tank to death, and then I'm gonna kill everyone. Come on, die already. Yeah, that's right. I kicked that guy's ass and I killed the other guy beside him, I think. Okay, shit, 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 shit. Bail out, bail out, bail out. And where's the helicopter that's trying to kill me? I don't know if that's friendly. And no, nope, there's no hostile. Oh shit, but there's a tank though. Let's get a, oh, he already has a marker, so let's uh, get some rockets on this. Or not. He's already dead, too. Hmm. Uh, but there's enemy right there, so get him. Fire at will! Oh crap. I just saw a guy fly through the air and fall to his death, I think. Poor man. He had so much to live for. Let's uh, get that guy a warning shot, make him aware that I'm coming for him. Then he's gonna hide like a little bitch and try and pick up and attack me. <laughs> Something like that. It'll. Oh shit, yeah, he's right there. Oh, alright. Gonna cut you guys off here. Anyways, guys, as usual, leave your comments below. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.